Hi everybody, it's September 27th, Wednesday, and you're here at the Chaos DEI, Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Working Group. Great to see everybody here. We have a pretty big group today. Um, let me just turn my phone off because um, people are texting me. Here we go. Um, hi, I'm Elizabeth, in case anybody doesn't know me. I'm the community manager for Chaos. I am not the whole community, even though it says it right there. Um, I am just one person. Let me start the sharing of screenage. Here we go. Um, just a quick reminder for those who don't know, I think everybody here has been to chaos meetings before, but just in case, uh, this is under the chaos code of conduct. So just keep that in mind. We don't care. Cameras on, off. We don't care. Um, also, you're welcome to raise your hand and interject at any time. You can chat on the chat part of Zoom, like whatever makes you happy. However you prefer to interact with us is completely fine with us. Um, yeah, we would love that. So if you want to add your name to the agenda, I will also add my name here. Name a star constellation in your region. Uh, Big Dipper. Sean. Ha ha ha. I see what you did there. Yeah, I opened the new GitHub org, Swift Kelchi. <laughs> I really Why? did that. Why would you do that? I really did that, yeah. I mean, it used to be domain names. Like that people would just oh, I'm, I'm I almost bought swifty.community yesterday. <laughs> oh, that would have yeah, that would you probably could sell that later. Yeah. Guys, that's actually open. Available, me. yeah. Um yeah, so let's go ahead and go on to the agenda. Um first on our agenda is this metric conflict resolution and mediation. Um uh would the folks who worked on this like to talk about this? Um, that will be me. So I just um, started a draft of the metric and um, I thought it would be great to get feedback from the community. Do we want to take five minutes and just look through this and offer some comments in the doc? Let's do that. Yeah, that works for me. Here's a link to the doc for anybody who needs it in the chat. The, the conflict resolution one. Yeah. And um, for those who have not done this sort of exercise with us before, typically we um, will turn suggesting on um, so that we're just making um, some suggestions <laughs> instead of editing directly. And that way, if there's something big, we can talk about it. Something little, we can just accept any changes. So um, if, you, if that's okay with you to just make sure you're on suggesting mode. And then whatever you see you would like to add or change to the doc, feel free to do that. We are very collaborative here. Um, and Anita, thank you so much for getting started. Really appreciate you. We'll keep the recording going. Um, for those who are watching, you can probably skip through this, although sometimes we do have good conversations. So we'll just keep going.
food. Okay, let's wrap this up. Uh, maybe two more minutes to finish whatever <clears throat> thought you're, you're putting in here. Okay, it looks like we have a lot of thoughts in this, so this is great. Do we want to talk about this now, or do we want to um, kind of let this sit until next week and then bring it back up? What do we, looks like we, we do have other stuff on the agenda today, so I just want to be mindful of time, but um, I guess I'll, I'll let Anita, I'll let you decide what you want to do. Do you want to keep talking about this today, or do you want to take a minute to read through these and form some thoughts of your own? Yeah, I, I think um, I'll um, get back 
with maths on working with this and then come back next week for more feedback um, so we can discuss better. Great. Okay. Thank you for getting this going. And Matt, too. This is awesome. I think this is a good. Thank you all for feedback. It's a great input, by the way. I'll also put here in the agenda that if um, um, more feedback is welcome, if people have other thoughts and they didn't have a chance to put them in, they want to come back, absolutely can do that. Okay. So I will adjust my note on reading through these comments on here. Anita, something that we might want to think about is there seem to be questions that um, <clears throat> you would kind of look at the community externally and ask like, or do they have policies posted on conflict resolution? Do you see documentation on this? So these kinds of things. And then another set of questions, which is more from the perspective of the community members. Like I feel that there are ways to resolve conflicts or things like that. So we may just want to sort through that a little bit. They seem like a couple different perspectives that could be taken when thinking about conflict resolution. Yeah, um, so I bought um, hard music captures in this same metric from the community end and from the contributors end. I think it's fine to do it from both directions. We just will have to just specify that in the metric. Okay. Great. Thank you both very much for your work here. That's awesome. And I'm I'm already thinking of there could be a um that could be part of a metric model that's kind of floating around it has been floating around in my brain for a little while. So yeah. That's, that's really cool. Um, do we want to move on? Are there any final comments on this? We can do it. So the next on the agenda is the um, DEI.md file and updating the project access part. Do we want to click on this and see? Sure, this is with the PR. I tried to, so this is based on um, feedback from Daniel, who's on the call. Um, just trying to update kind of the recommendations around project access and also the recommendation or the comment that came last week of trying to get that list a little smaller than 10, just so, um, you know, the samples there and then yeah. some links where suggested. So that's, that's what this PR is, is just kind of updating. Um, those examples that people could use or just to help kind of locate people. Yeah, yeah. So after this meeting, I'll just um, take a look at it. Yeah, I'll just review it. I'm sure it's fine. And then I'll just merge it in. Okay. Let me make it action item for me. Cool. Thanks, Matt. Thank you, Daniel. Yep. Thank you very much. Appreciate your um, your insight on these. Making this. Better. Yeah, happy happy to contribute, and uh, I do have. I'll share that in that same issue, Matt. But I have um, a draft for the communication transparency as well. Um, Perfect. Awesome. I'll share that this week. Perfect. And if you didn't notice, Daniel, we're trying. I mean, put everything that you have in there, and then we do end up reducing it just so we don't give people a list of like. <laughs> Here's 20 things for this metric, or you know, that it doesn't overwhelm people when they're looking at the template. That's all. Okay. Any questions on this or discussion we want to have about that? Uh, just one one question. Do we have any update on timeline for completing the template for the um, DEI MND file, like overall? I, personally, I think if you um, you were providing feedback on communication transparency, and then I think the only one that remains is 
inclusive leadership. If you wanted to, per I don't know that you provided feedback on that one. Oh, or that was actually the first one we did. Yeah. Oh, was it the first one we did? W would this be the last one then in yeah. terms of, yeah. okay. So I think of, of bronze, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So at that point, um, I think the template would be done. So like I take your feedback and issue the PR. I, there was one other thing that I was going to put, I have to go back in the minutes in the template, like a, I forget what it was, like a disclaimer statement or something like that. Like, do you remember that? Was, wasn't I going to do that? Like, um, like remember this DEI.md file does not guarantee anything. I, I forget. Yeah. I need to go back through the minutes. <laughs> I feel like I'm forgetting something on the template. Yeah, I think I remember that too. I wanted to say it was something around like making sure people knew this was just, these were just samples and not like requirements. Yeah. Or maybe we put that already. I don't know. We'll go That's back. And look. I'll go back and look. But Daniel, to your point, I honestly, with your feedback, I think the template could be done in a week. Okay. That's great. Yep. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, thank you. Are we good to go on? Any other comments about anything? All good. Cool. All mm -hmm. right, let's go on. Discord. <laughs> guess uh, we put that in there. <laughs> I would guess it was you, Matt. <laughs> what? Discourse <laughs> hater? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I will win. No, um, I, I just think we, we, have to get, we have to get discourse onto our website. Well, I, if we're going to use it, I'm just wondering if you know what I'm wondering. If it's a channel that we're really monitoring, and if it ends up just creating a lot of work for Elizabeth, and to my later point, it's probably not a the bigger concern, but like, honestly, if somebody joined this and tried to communicate in it, this wouldn't be the most like receptive place. Mm -mm. Like, you we would don't... You'd probably just say, go to Slack. <laughs> yeah. So I, I, I come back to, well, why isn't it used? And I think mostly it's because it's not easily demarcated on our website. So we're not really directing people there in any kind of a systematic way. I, I think it could be useful. It's I, but so so what I like about this format as opposed to Slack is I think once something is posted, it is easier to find things on a message board than it is in Slack. But we would have to actually make it something that we use or that the community uses because right now I, it, it's pretty clear Elizabeth is the principal user. <laughs> of the Elizabeth show when you come to Discord, yeah, she's about, and she's talking to herself. <laughs> So I think, that, honestly, company. I think it's just not that easy to use, right? Like the apps aren't that good. I I have tried to engage with Discourse, not just here, but in Sustain as well. And they're having the same issue. Like their their Discourse is also a ghost town. I think it's I think it's just hard to use. I think it my my personal opinion was that it was a failed experiment. Yeah, let's kill it then. Let's just put an out of service sign up on it. I mean, that's uh, fair. I have no issue with that really, actually, um, because as as we said, like I'm the only one that posts and I'm just posting meeting summaries so people can find them if they want. And some people do, but yeah, go ahead, Daniel. Um, yeah, so uh, just relating this uh, GitLab, we've had the same kind of issues with operating multiple like um, services for, for communities to chat. Like we have a discourse forum, we have a discord channel, um, we had Gitter channel as well. Um, and then some Slack channels. And it was like, it was too many different places. But the problem was like different people like different services. Some people like the traditional message board style. Some people love the chat channel style of Slack and Discord. Um, but ultimately it did kind of feel like tearing the community in separate directions. Whereas trying to funnel into one location seems to bring people together. Um, so if you were gonna take down the discourse, does that mean Slack would be your primary um, service? Okay. Yeah. yeah. And one the nice thing we did like about Discord is like the introduction of like threading and forums, like subforums within Discord now. I'm not sure how Slack if Slack is doing anything like that, but um, that was nice to kind of bring some of the elements of a traditional message board into a chat channel. Do we know of any open source projects that successfully use Discourse? Sustain was the best example I had, and by all accounts, it doesn't seem to work that great for them. 
I think discourse is maybe the only one that uses discourse <laughs> clearly. Um, yeah. I did like, I mean, we started using this because we wanted a place to have those longer threads where people can find them because Slack is so ethereal and <clears throat> doesn't really stick around. It gets, things get buried so easily. So that's why we kind of wanted a, a more stable place to put things. Um, yeah, so we could. And the have... idea when we first did this was that it was to replace the mailing lists, yeah. which to be fair, also weren't all that particularly well used. Yeah, they weren't super active, but. But that way too, like if we wanted to go back, yes, because the um, the mailing list also kept that archive that was searchable at least, maybe not perfect, but at least it was searchable. So if we wanted to say, hey, when when did we decide to do this thing, we could easily just search and instead of having to go through every Google Doc of every <laughs> meeting that we've ever had. <laughs> so I don't know, I don't know what the answer. One is. other one other question: What about using just like issues like on a, on the repository? And just having you know sort of the same thing you're having a thread for an issue and then you could have meeting summaries uh, separate issues and then you know different projects set up so that they're all kind of organized in place i we mean could, that's fair yeah we could do it like a, even just in the community repo yeah um yeah, in, a, in a prior open source project i was with we did that right in our github repositories that way everything was public easy to access you were already using github for um, contributing to the project so it wasn't like you had to go to a separate service and um, it was just a nice way of kind of keeping it organized so would we put them in issues or would we put like the meeting summaries for instance in uh just like a doc that we i just would add on to every every week or what would you all want to do? I think you could do it either. I've seen it done both ways. One, like GitLab usually does it as issues. Uh, the mm -hmm. prior open source project I was with did it more as like docs in a repo. Um, again, I think it just comes down to personal preference sometimes with how people like to communicate. Okay, well, why don't we try it? Why don't we try, um, we can try doing issues um, and then I would just close them, I guess or keep them open until the next week something like that oh, yeah that's a good idea okay okay so let's let's just sunset it do we need to take this to the community meeting before we decide uh, that's oh. fair we could so I, don't, I mean we could but i don't think anybody's gonna miss it <laughs> well i think that's the place to make that decision i don't think we make it yeah. in an individual working group that's fair that's correct i agree I kind of like the idea of opening the issue in that working groups repository. Um, Cause like, you know, so we have some folks that come here, but don't necessarily, they just come to the one group. Like that's, that's the only thing they care about is this one repo. They don't necessarily need to, what do you all think? Um, I, I think I was, like, oh, I was sorry. just for community, but that was my, First thought, just everything in the community repo. Okay, just let's try that. Yeah. Or well, that's what we'll propose to the and the community meeting, and then if folks are like, no, then we'll figure something else out. <laughs> we'll figure something else out. Yeah, I think it'd be easier if they're all in one repo and then just maybe by title, like they could be just if it's a designated working group, then in the title, it starts with that working group. So it's easy to kind of scan through or search for them. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Fair enough. We can even use the labels as well to tag them. Okay. Cool. I will say that that is kind of a pain for me to do this. So I'm I'm happy to put it somewhere else and maybe it'll be easier and get up. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I was I I will say like I'm I'm kind of surprised that so many people like I'm I was expecting this to be like three views. So that is interesting. Yeah. Somebody's watching reading them. Or maybe it's the same person just reading them over and I don't know. Anyway. Okay, cool. Thanks everybody. Any final thoughts on discourse we want to bring up here?
Thank you. Okay, cool. Thanks, Matt. So the next thing on our agenda is I just wanted to update everybody about this um, accessibility audit that we have. I think we talked about it last week. Yeah. We decided we were going to do the audit first and kind of clean up house a little bit and then do an accessibility statement after that. So um, we brought this to the we have a project manager meeting now on Mondays. So if you are interested in um, being a project manager for one of our um, like sub projects within the chaos project, um, that would be great. Uh, we would welcome that. And if you are not, if you don't have much experience doing that, or if you're, you know, a little uncertain, um, Yiga has been kind enough to put together a best practices document. So we will help you figure out how to be a project manager. Um, and just so everybody knows, for our projects, we we will have two project managers assigned to a project, as well as a technical lead and a, and or a knowledge lead, some, depending on the project. So, for instance, this accessibility audit update, um, Lucio has agreed to be a project manager. We are currently also looking for a second one, um, and then Yiga and Victoria are the ones who are doing most of the actual work. And then Lucio and whoever else are going to help them take the work and break it into subtasks that we can put it in as issues so that as people want to join the, the effort, they can do that easily. And then Busayo and again, whoever else will be the ones to kind of just make sure the projects roll in, help with any blockers, you know, just, just kind of keep things moving. And just so everybody can see the progress that Ega has made, um, this is where we're starting. So yeah, fantastic work here. Um, and then we can decide if we want to, like what level we want to do. Um, but that way too, if we have, oh, I'm a designer, I'm new to chaos, then if there's like something that had been checked and then an issue opened as a result, then they will know, okay, I know what I can do to help this project. So that spreadsheet, if you want to, oh, sorry, go ahead. What are, what are the columns? So like F, G, and H. Mm-hmm. What, what, so like a, we have the description, all non-text contents, content has a text equivalent. And then what is content creator, designer, developer, QA tester? So I believe if Yiga is on the phone, on the call here, I don't see. Yeah, Yiga's, her. she's got her hand raised. Oh, she's at the top, that's why. Go for it, Yiga, you answer that question better than I can. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Matt. Hi, everyone. Um, so the the explanation for column F, G, and H is so for every issue that we kind of have, or that for every accessibility testing that we do, um, we're going to kind of the the column F, G, and H is for the person assigned to work on it. So is this a content issue? You know, how do we resolve this? Is this a I content create? Issue. Is this a designer issue? Is it a developer issue? We need Q and A testing, so that's why those columns are there. And whoever we think is the person that should be assigned to this, we'll just click that column, right? Okay. So that that way we assign it to yes. So that's the idea of that. I don't know if that explains it. That does explain it. Thank that's you. Awesome. Thank you. Yep. So we'll probably keep this group updated just as we kind of go and we have some progress because it is diversity, equity, inclusion working group. So this, that would be applicable here as well. So yeah, and we are gonna be using GitHub project boards. We're gonna try uh, to use these for our project tracking. Um, so hopefully everything will be transparent and open and anybody can look and see what's going on with the project. Um, and that's gonna be across the board to any GitHub sub project um, that we have so yeah any questions on that comments concerns whatever uh, is this is the tracking spreadsheet was that is that from the wcag is that something that you put together yiga because like if it's something is it something we could share more broadly basically is my question with other with others. Sorry, Matt. I'm sorry, Matt. I didn't quite get to you. I didn't so get the, your question. Yeah, yeah. Is the spreadsheet, is this, was this like, um, is this something that you had put together? 
Oh, okay. Oh, so yes. Um. So the the links the links are it's a it's all the sources all of the links that I use to do this um on the tab here. You know, after the DEI badging and testing checklist, there's somewhere that has links. So I used all of that. So that's like the acknowledgement of everything put together. Okay. Yes. So yes. I'm just, I'm thinking that we could, I mean, this seems like something that other communities could use <laughs> and really oh, want to use. Yeah. And so we might want to think okay. about like, Oh yeah, sure. Um, we could we could refine it, make it even better. You know, while we're looking at the chaos website, I'm sure we could see you know other things that can be added, and we could also add them. And of course, we can share. It's, okay. I don't think there's a problem. Yeah. With that. Okay. Yes. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. Good idea, Matt. I'll just put that in here. Yeah, we could do like a blog post or something too when we're all said and done. Yeah, here are things that you can use for your own audit, accessibility yep. audit. Yep. Cool. All right. Thank you so much. Thanks, Iga. Um, and I saw in the chat that Peculiar has offered to also help Busaya with this. Um, so I'm going to delete this. And add you. <laughs> Thank you for volunteering. That's awesome. And um, <clears throat> then the last thing on our agenda is just I wanted to give a quick update on the onboarding courses. And for those who aren't familiar with that, um, Chaos plans to set up a full learning management system through Moodle, which is an open source project also. Um, and we are going to have kind of two, two tracks, I guess you could say. One will be um, just getting started with open source in general, one will be more specific to chaos. Um, so these will have like little modules people can read and watch videos and whatever um, we think they need to educate people, especially newcomers on here's everything that's going on in chaos because <laughs> it's a lot, it's a lot. And so um, we're hoping that this will help a newcomer's journey because it will be very clear and progressive and yeah, they'll be able to see what they haven't seen yet and what they have uh, have already done. And so um, this was a question actually I had. Uh, well, before I ask it, I just wanted to tell people, so Yiga and Peculiar are gonna be our project managers. And then Sean is kind of heading up the Moodle part of things. Yeah, and I'm, I'm, I'm still sorting out the hosted instances. Um, that's thing. totally fine. Yeah, that's it's, totally uh, fine. I haven't spent any time on it since we met last week, so I'm sorry about that. No, 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 that's totally fine. I think we're just trying to get our ducks in a row anyway, um, just before we even get started on it in earnest. Um, but I think we're kind of to that point now where we can actually really start on figuring out what kind of modules we want and and getting some written and started. Um, Sean, do you need help? Would, would you like to pass that off or do you want to keep that? I mean, I think if there's if there's someone else that's interested in um, poking around the Moodle instance, I would welcome that. Um, I would welcome additional engagement from. It is, I think it's going to require somebody with some technical knowledge because the the things that I'm working through are technical in terms of how to what little configuration button I need to push so that somebody can come to our Moodle site and register an account. That's it's a really kind of frustratingly stupid place that I'm stuck. Yeah, um, no, that's fine. So yeah, I would welcome anyone that wants to take a run at that would be more, I would love that. Henrietta. Is that a hand, uh, yeah, Henrietta, you've got something. Hello, can you hear me? Hello? Yeah, yeah hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, sure, I'm available, okay. Yeah, and I remember the last time we discussed that um, um, for people who are newcomers, for people who are newcomers, if they are interested in joining, just so that maybe the course looks more friendly, like you wanted an opinion of someone who is a newcomer. I don't know if it's still on, because I remember I volunteered for it some time back. Yes, and... <laughs> I think we had to pause for a second until we could sort out kind of how it would 
unfold, how the development of it would unfold and kind of just get organized. Um, that is definitely something that I think we need to do is to include newcomers in the building of this. So I was thinking, and I was going to pose this to the team who was working on this, uh, maybe we could have a quick meeting or even try some stuff asynchronous just to kind of get get things started. Maybe in the education channel, what do you got? I guess I, I guess I'm looking to you, you get peculiar both. Okay, sure. You want to have a meeting? Do you think that would be the best? Well, yes, that's fine. Whatever will make the project work better and faster. Like, that's awesome. It's fine by me. Okay. So um, we'll we'll have a meeting and just kind of get get things organized. And then once we kind of know more about what we will need from the newcomers, then I think we will be ready to include. Does that make sense, Henrietta? Sure, it does. Okay, so so stay tuned is what I'm saying. <laughs> stay tuned. We'll we'll definitely gonna do that. Um, so let's see here. You got Sean. Do you want to be in that meeting? Yeah, that would be good. Okay, that that'd be a facilitate the handoff or the collaboration. I suppose yeah, it's not okay. a handoff. Here, it's not. Uh, congratulations. It's it's a uh, collaboration. And, you know, if we can't find anybody to do a backup for you, I can probably be a backup um, because I, I did write some PHP back in the day and that's what Moodle's in if, you know. Yeah, I think, I think if, I think once we get through this dumb little issue, it, it should be sort of not, re it should not require any technical skill yeah. to configure okay. Moodle. Um, okay. And because the hosted instance does, be, it does restrict your ability to like edit the PHP and stuff, which is. Um, that's good from a us not having to maintain a perspective, but it is the source also of not having full power to easily yeah. figure out this little yeah. stupid problem. Yeah. Um, Matt, would you like to be in that meeting also? Just because I know this is something that you're very interested in. Uh, yeah, I'd be mostly, I'm mostly interested in the content creation, yeah. if that's what will be talked about there. M maybe based on the folks it looks like content creation will be a significant topic yeah it will be a topic um i think also to just trying to sort out what what the tasks are what is needed like let's make a list of everything that we need to to do for this project i think is kind of would there be is there a uh, would there be a possibility of just having like 20 minutes of this meeting focused on that or do we need more time than that uh we certainly could. I think hmm, that's a good question. I will I will defer to Yiga and Peculiar. How long do you think it will take us to kind of go through the project and the goals and the objectives and everything and then do our breakdown of work? What do you think? I, I think um, we so could uh, like oh, sorry. I think Busaya, go ahead, please. Oh yeah, peculiar. You can go ahead, it's fine. <laughs> Go ahead, Peculiar. You got it. Uh, all right. Um, okay, we can like uh, five days will be enough for us to go through everything. Um, if that's so, we can get started just like uh, between now and next week. At today's uh, Wednesday, between now and Tuesday, we should be done. Okay. Yeah, I think, um, Matt, to your question, I think maybe let us have a meeting and figure it out first, and then, because okay. I don't yeah, that's That's what, that's what. Yeah. Okay. Um, Yiga, you also had a comment. Henrietta, I'm guessing your hand is up from before, but if you have a new hand up, that's also valid, so just let us know. <laughs> oh, yeah, so it's a new it's hand. Not a new hand. So I think that... <laughs> So I, it's a new hand. So I think that um, we, when we have the meeting and we understand the scope of the project, that will help us determine when we can actually start, right? So when we understand what the scope of the project is, we don't uh, work with the structure and all of that stuff, then we can prioritize and know when we can start, right? So that's just what I, I, I want to start. So you know, of Does that make sense, Matt? 
Yeah, that's good. I just, as yeah. much as we could have the conversation here, that would be, it's just nice to have everybody have a chance to participate too that may have comments or thoughts. But if, if like doing a kickoff meeting to Yiga's point and Peculiar's point kind of help like organize that conversation, that's a really good idea. Yeah, okay. Let's, I tell you what, let's try it. Cause this is really the first, one of the first projects that we're using project managers for. Okay. So let's try it and see. And then if we're like, yeah, no, we, we need to have this conversation out in the open with everybody, um, then we'll, we'll move it there. Does that work? Yeah, that's, that's good. Okay. And then just that last one, just there is, it's far from perfect, but, um, just those slides that we've solely been working on doesn't have to be my picture on every one of them, but whoever is like presenting these, you know, this first half is just, um, you know, kind of thinking about participating in open source. Again, it's a very, that well, doesn't look good, but it's a very um, kind of corporate centric view of participating in open source, which is my own particular thing. Um, and then the bottom part is from Ruth. So if you scroll down a little bit, just keep going, keep going, keep going. So these are like how you might think about, mm -hmm. you as a person might think about participating in open source. You know, so like the first part is like, here's a way to think about open source. And then if you are interested as an individual in participating, like here are different ways that you might want to think about approaching open source, not the chaos project, but just open source that's meaningful to you. So for all of you, if you're working on content, please feel free to modify these slides and change them, delete them, whatever, whatever you feel. I thought this just might be a nice start for everybody. Yeah, this is fantastic. This is really great. So then in theory, we could have a volunteer um, kind of just take these slides and make a presentation out of it. Correct. Okay. And that would be, I think then to Henrietta's point, which is when we're thinking about like people participating in the delivery of this, this stuff or Henrietta, if you want to add to these slides, you know, this would be a great way for, for us to learn from, from you. So please add and, and yeah, and then to your point, Elizabeth, we could think about how we would deliver these slides. Yeah. As yeah. And I'm also going to be super interested from newcomers on what gaps there are or what questions they have, like what aren't we answering that we need to. Yeah, I love that. Thank you so much to Onyenye. I don't know if I pronounced that properly. Um, yeah, you can get a link to the slides here. I'll just drop it in the chat. Oops, there it is. And Ruth too. And Matt, thank you for starting that. That's great. And this, just to be clear on for me, this is different than what the Chaos Africa folks are working on specific to them, right? Is that your take, Matt? Well, um, I don't, I don't know. Okay. I don't know what you're referring to. Okay. Well, I know that um, Chaos Africa, um, as part of the All in Africa, I think we're going to do some open source 101 stuff. Okay. Do you remember that? I do. And I mean, the bottom half of these slides are from Ruth. Okay. So probably okay. part of that presentation that she has been making. Awesome. Perfect. Okay. Fair enough. All right. And look at that. We're right at time. Amazing. Thank well, you, everybody. Any final thoughts before we head out on anything? that we talked about. Cool. No, All right, well, have I a great rest of your day. What's that, Sean? I look forward to the meeting on the course, on the course yeah. thing. The I'll doodle. reach out to you guys. We'll do a doodle. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Right or you can just des designate a meeting. If it's not during a chaos time, it probably works. OK, <laughs> <laughs> sounds good. All, All right. right, I'll see everybody. Have a good one. Bye.